hello everyone so today we are going to work on uh, how to tilt the helicopter body when it moves uh, with AI so that means if the helicopter is moving to the left there will be some tilting in the body to the left side as you can see here and if the helicopter is moving forward it will tilt head uh, like mm, to a head down position to show the way that actual helicopters are moving so at in this example i have set the helicopter to move around this area while focusing on this building so that's why it keeps looking at there while moving to the side so yeah when it moves to the left you can see it's tilting so if i disable the look at part and set it to look at the direction the helicopter is currently moving this is what happens now the helicopter is moving forward you will notice some tilting to the forward direction it increases as the speed increases See? okay so that's what we are going to work on today okay so to implement uh, tilting of the helicopter body based on the direction it's moving let me first go to the helicopter blueprint and here um, we need to we can turn this uh, root component here is the mesh oh we have this helicopter root so if uh, let's say for example helicopter is moving forward so we should tilt the helicopter root like this so and if it is moving to a side if it is moving to the to this side we can do a tilting like this so yeah that's what i want to do okay so how sh can we do that so ai movement is implemented here so the directions or the forces are applied like this so here we have the direction and the input so we can get let's get some space get velocity and from the velocity we can do a dot product with the actor forward so get actor forward if we do a dot product between these two we will get how much of a velocity we would have along the forward direction so we can use this value to calculate how much the helicopter should tilt in pitch yeah in pitch right so for manual moment we have used this forward and right values so these are 
I have basically used them to set the tilt in of the helicopter. So we can use the same variables. Uh, oh. well, we don't really need variables. We can directly use this logic. So let me copy. So what we have to do is set the relative location, rotation of the helicopter rule. So let me copy that. Oh, again, I went into manual. In here. What we need to do is set the rotation. So this gives us the forward. That means it should go here. And another dot product with get actor right get actor right vector. This would give us the tilting amount for roll. I'm not sure six the value of six should work here because here we can get something larger than one but here usually I only get something in between one and minus one because we only get the axis value here so we might not need to multiply it with six so but let's see how it works and then see if we need to change it so let me simulate Yeah, that's too much. See? <laughs> Let's just use minus one. Mm. And plus one. Maybe still it's too much. What I think we should do is... We need to have clamping. Yeah, that's not going to work. I clamp before this it wouldn't correlate with the speed so I think let's first try using a small value oh well to get an idea let's print this So we can have a better idea what kind of a modification we need for a campaign. Okay. 
So, if we do get something like a thousand, that means we should limit our rotations to something like 30 degrees. So, wait, let's see. This is how 20 looks like. I don't think this is too much. I think this is also too much. So maybe maximum 10 is good enough. Right. So So this should work. And if we need to be more careful, we can put a clamp here. But since our helicopter is not exceeding more than 1000, we should not have a problem. Anyway, let's clamp it. It will be minus 20 and 20. Sorry. should go here and this one here uh, I think we should do collapse this Tilt. Tilt helicopter. Right. Now let's see. leaning forward when it moves forward Now for testing, if I tell the helicopter to keep, to focus on this location, five ninety, four thousand minus four thousand. Let's give that location just for testing. Five ninety minus four thousand plus four thousand. So now it will not be looking at the direction same as it's moving. 
so we should see some side tilting as well change of change of rotation in rod feels a bit rigid at some places oh, there was that full rotation but it's working okay now for now I'm gonna reset this oh no let's keep it so yeah I'm gonna stop this episode right here so next time let's work on how to integrate these actual mechanisms into the real level that we were working on previously so oh um, thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon cloud see you in another episode goodbye